And so I'll quickly demonstrate the, uh, the advantages of using uh, the favourites feature of our instrument. So if I turn the instrument on, As you can see, it goes straight to the real-time display. Uh, again, the load and save is a very useful feature of this instrument. And if you knew which probe you were going to use, and you had some had a save slot, you could quickly uh, recall all the settings required. But a feature we do have, and for this example, I'm going to go to the 500 kilo absolute slot. Is I can make this slot one of my favourites by clicking the thumbs up. As you can see, a small star appears in the corner of the slot. Let's assume that, say, rotary is also a frequently used uh, setting slot. So again, as you can see, now we have two slots, the rotary and the follicular absolute, that are now classified as favourites. So now, if I turn off my instrument, This time, when I turn the instrument on, instead of going straight to the real-time display, you can see the two slots that I've designated as my favourites are now visible. So from here, I can quickly go across to either of those, push the OK key, the instrument will go to the real-time display, but using the settings that I recalled from the save slot. So if I go back to load and save. Again, it will now also display any slots that have been designated as favourites at the top of the list, often new slot and default. There can only be five favourites at a time stored on the instrument. So as well as adding a favourite, the thumbs up with a favourite slot highlighted will remove the asterisk so that is no longer a favourite.